Oh, fantastic. Another trick that involves a groovy young person, but one who can work a calculator without getting it wrong. Oh, your life's on. Can I borrow you? I'll come and borrow you. There we go. You come up here. OK. Once again, this is a trick that, as if you're watching in your classroom, this lady's kind of doing the hard work, but it's a little magic trick that everybody can do. OK, I'm going to say thank you, Irene. A little secret, and I'll tell you why I'm saying thank you, Irene, later on. There you are, calculator. <laughs> you're right with the calculator. She thinks it's a knife pad. Look at her little face. Oh, Angry Birds. <laughs> like that. Have you played Angry Birds? Addicted, addicted. I only got it last week. And oh, oh, Angry Birds. Have you got that one that spins and goes like that on it? Yeah. Oh, danger. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting off the subject. Do you do Angry Birds? Looks a bit like an Angry Bird, actually. I'm, looking. I'm so sorry, bless her. I don't make friends quickly. This is a fantastic little trick. What's your name? Jennifer. That is Jennifer. OK. 7, 11 times 13. Right, this little trick, I need everybody once again, please, to think of a number in their heads between 1 and 9. Who can I pick to start me off? It's always my mate. Here, give us a number. Just shout your number. 1. 1. 1 to start with. Lady there, shout out. 7. Uh, we've got one. You are seven, thank you. And uh, right at the back row over there. Four. One, seven and four they've given me here. But it will work with any three numbers. One, seven, four. You and I, Jennifer, are going to have a race. In my head, I'm going to multiply one, seven, four times seven times 11 times 13. And you're going to do it on the calculator. All you do is type in what you see. 174 times 7 times 11 times 13 equals, OK? And we're going to race. Now, don't try and go too fast. I'd rather you got it right. Is that OK, Jennifer? OK, my love. On your marks. Get set. Go. I've finished. <laughs> Keep going, girl, because we're waiting for you. Hope she gets this right. If she gets it wrong, I'm the one that looks stupid. Anyway, here we go. She's tapped in the wrong number. Never mind. Chat amongst yourselves. It's nice in the BBC, isn't it? Yeah. One seven four one seven. Oh, I'll tell you what. Can we get a microphone to her because she's done this perfectly? I've forgotten she's going to speak. Thank you. Say out loud what your answer is. One seven four one seven four. Give her a round of applause. There you are. I've got it right. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. You go sit down. Thank you, Jennifer. It's a very very simple little trick. Really, there's no more than what you see there. But you can get any three-digit number. It could have been 2, 4, 9, times 7, times 11, times 13. What would that make all of you? 2, 4, 9, 2, 4, 9. I'm sorry, my writing's appalling. That's a 9. Ah, 9. OK. The reason this works is really simple. If you just take those three numbers and multiply them together, they make 1,001. And so if you get any three-digit number, basically it's multiplied by a 1,000 and then by one, and so you end up with it twice. Nice little trick's called Beat the Calculator. If you haven't seen it, you can catch people by surprise with that one.